So uh, I'm a Japanese. I was born in Japan and I'm a Japanese citizen and I started going to the United States I think when I was 15 or something and around these times I was kind of amused not amazed or not impressed but amused to see that uh, when you enter the United States sometimes you have to write documents and uh, there you sometimes have to write your race uh, I guess uh, in my case yeah, I'm an Asian but you know at the time I, I what race what does race have to do with you know when for example when I register for uh, you know some academic meetings uh, in the United States uh, from time to time I have to declare my race uh, you know although it's optional you know it's optional but you know what does race have to do with my science? You know, it's, it's really weird for me as a you know, Japanese person because in Japan, nobody talks about race. You, you might say that uh, that's because, you know, uh, the Japanese are racially homogeneous, but that's not the case because, you know, we have many expatriates and some of them have been naturalized and have become uh, Japanese citizens, but we don't ask them to register their race <laughs> because what does it have to do with things like social security or politics? And it doesn't have to do anything <laughs> with race. Um, anyway, so when I entered the United States, um, starting you know when I was fifteen, I sometimes from time to time I have to declare my race. So I put Asian, but Asian, yeah, sure. But you know, for example, uh, seen from Europe traditionally. Uh, the Middle East is uh, also is Asia, is it Asia? India is Asia. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, when you compare a um, Japanese and uh, Indian person or Pakistani person, uh, well, in terms of race, we may be Asians, but we are kind of different, aren't we? <laughs> so, you know, it, it doesn't make sense, this race thing, you know, we are all homo sapiens, right? If so biological species-wise, we are all the same species, so race. Anyway, so when I went to North America, I met with many people, and people do refer to race like Caucasian, white, you know, uh, Hispanic, but, you know, we're kind of on a continuum, aren't we? I mean, you know, there's no definite border between any race and so so when uh, this wonderful Ms. Uh, Kamala Harris became vice president uh, her candidate I do hope that Ms. Uh, Harris and you know Joe Biden would enter the White House in no not in November next year uh, you know I, I was really amused to see in the United States this debate about whether Miss uh, Kamala Harris is black or not because you know it's <laughs> for me it, it doesn't make any sense I mean well as many of us uh, you know uh, Miss Harris uh, is proud of her uh, ancestry I think and father came from uh, the Caribbean islands or what am I right and mother came from India or the other way around anyway so, you know, so she, Ms. Kamala Harris is a wonderful mixture of these, uh, the diversity of humanities that exists in uh, Earth. And, you know, so I, I, I don't know, is Kamala Harris uh, black or does it even matter? I don't think it matters. I mean, okay, so, you know, African Americans, uh, they are really beautiful uh, people. And they might have skin colors which we can roughly call black, uh, but you know, uh, but that depends on people, and you know, it is not really homogeneous. But anyway, you can call some. You may, you may be able to call some people black because their skin color is beautifully black. That's okay. But you know, when you it's ambiguous. Do you really have to declare somebody's race? as if it, it was a mathematical formula. Because in the case of Ms. 
Carmen Harris, uh, I think she's wonderfully mixed, right? So if you are not sure uh, whether she's black or not, I mean, why should you call her black? Why do, why do, you, do you have to debate about it? Because, you know, when something is obvious, like, well, well, okay, this, this person is black, when it's obvious you know, that this, uh, this person's skin color is black, then we might choose to uh, call her or him black because that's probably obvious. But you know, why it's not obvious? Why well, we don't have to do anything, right? I mean, it's just human. It's just a human. I mean, <laughs> we don't really prove somebody is black because there's no, you know, platonic concept of blackness to begin with. So I really don't understand this obsession in the United States about this race thing, because we are all on the continuum and, you know, we are all humans and we are all homo sapiens and that is the only thing that matters at the end of the day. And, you know, when, so when I entered the United States for the first time when I was 15, I had to declare my race, but I really felt strange and I feel strange even today, because for me, as a scientist and as a human being, this race thing doesn't make any sense. So, you know, uh, people talk about identity politics and so on. And I, I admit that these things might have some practical implications uh, because we are, not in, we are not perfect. But, you know, at the same time, I do feel that if we do away with this race thing altogether, now, today, then we would be a much better, happier person. Uh, am I a strange person coming from Japan? Maybe I am, but you know, that's my opinion.